2015, the Beeb's Doctor Who-related social media staff made an announcement that there would be an announcement, always the best way to do things, and set me and my fellow fanboys off into wild theories about how maybe they found more missing episodes, because it's never not about the missing episodes, and oh my god, how awesome would it be to actually be able to watch Fury from the Deep? And then they announced that the announcement was a new spin-off about Coal Hill School called Class, and people really didn't take kindly to that news. I was more just disinterested, to be honest. I didn't want to say, that sounds like a rubbish idea before we even knew anything about it, but it seemed like an odd decision, to say the least. And I just didn't really get the thinking behind it, and still don't, because pop culture's kind of changed in recent times, and class is the kind of idea that you would have expected from kids' TV in the 80s and 90s, but now, not so much. Okay, so spin-offs are usually cheap tat made off the back of a random aspect of an original series that has become so insanely popular that cashing in on its success makes financial sense. They almost always have a much lower budget and have to work within their means. They're primarily going to be chasing people who are already into the parent series, but they've also got to be able to function on their own as a separate show. Yes, they can be a bit fan-wanky and have crossover episodes, but ultimately, you've got to have an idea that can function alone that can forge its own identity. Captain Jack was popular. Let's make a series where he and some people battle some aliens in Cardiff, and they've got all this cool space technology, and primarily make it for the teenagery crowd of Doctor Who fans and have nobbing in it occasionally. Sarah Jane's awesome. Let's make her fight aliens and make it for the younger crowd of Doctor Who fans. Very similar ideas, but they've both got a directly tangential relation to Doctor Who, but they've both got a defined purpose in mind. And if you look at some of Big Finish's spin-offs, they've done the same thing. A favourite of mine is their series about the Cybermen, essentially casting them as villains in a series of more adult political dramas, and then it goes dystopian in series two. See, it's got a defined Doctor Who thing in it, but it's also got its own purpose, its own characters, its own style. What's different about doing the idea of something about Coal Hill School is... I'm not entirely sure if people are really interested. Like, at all. Because it's not exactly that extraordinary an aspect of the series. Jack was a space captain who could come back from the dead. Sarah Jane had travelled across time and space. Cybermen and Daleks are the main bad guys in your parents' show. But the school that was in the first episode of Old Who, and was the normal bit in some episodes in seasons 8 and 9, in which approximately one child had a decent amount of speaking time, there may have been more, I can't remember, essentially what you're pitching us is a school-based drama series. And I don't really get the thinking behind commissioning that in 2016, because you don't really see those anymore. A long-running fixture of British children's television was, of course, Grange Hill, a drama for kids about some kids at a school, and it basically worked on the principle of trying to connect with what life was like for young people in contemporary Britain by basically doing their life on TV. Thing is, though, Grange Hill got cancelled because kids stopped watching it, because there was a cultural shift, because by the late 90s, Harry Potter had come along, which was essentially a school drama with wizards in it. Kids' fantasy just started to dwarf the idea of kids' drama, and as Harry Potter moved on, it essentially turned into World War II with wizards, along with the rise of the young adult dystopia narrative. World events just became a lot bleaker after 9-11, and generally young people started to see the world as a daunting an alienating place, so we've started to see major popularity of stuff like The Hunger Games and The Maze Runner, which sees young people surviving in a bleak, harsh fantasy world that's out to get them at every corner. Local comprehensive. It just doesn't really scream young adult in 2016. It'll basically be like Buffy is what was mentioned in press releases, but even Buffy started to change over time along with the environment of contemporary young adult drama. Essentially starting out as about some kids that go to school with monsters, just sort of at the tail end of the era of drama for young people principally set at schools, but towards the middle, conveniently enough as the characters grew up, we had evil gods and about 80 billion apocalypses. Local comprehensive. Called class. Okay, I don't want to shit all over this idea before it starts, though, as fucking bizarre as it sounds that they're doing something like this in 2016, because... 
OK, lots of us were disinterested because it sounds so generic, but that's because of how unspecific everyone's been. Dalek Empire is a series about the Daleks, Cyberman's a series about Cybermen, but from what we know, yeah, all we've got is just some kids go to a school. It doesn't exactly sound that interesting, but hell, it could basically be anything because of how non-specific everyone's been. Last month, some of you may remember that I made a part animated short, envisioning as dark, nasty, and horrible and violent a version of kids go to a school as I could possibly think of, just to demonstrate just how broad these parameters are. Some kids go to a school and there's aliens. That's pretty much all we've got. I mean, with a spin-off about Captain Jack, you sort of knew what you were getting. You know, stars John Barrowman, etc. But all we've got to go on here is a school that some kids go to. I mean, it's fiction. You can pretty much do whatever you want with that by definition. Granted, it probably won't be anything, because the reason they're doing it, let's not kid ourselves here, is it's cheap, and the BBC isn't exactly working with a whole lot of budget these days. You know, just get some cameras at a school and some guy in a rubber costume, and you've pretty much got the Sarah Jane adventures without Sarah Jane. Just, what I'm saying is, a spin-off has got to have tangential relationship to the parent series, but it's also got to have its own identity. It is possible to make a good spin-off about anything in Doctor Who, and yes, about Coal Hill School, but it's got to have something that sets it apart and has its own purpose. I don't know what to expect from class, but if it essentially plays out like the little romance vignettes in Doctor Who Series 8, or basically a full TV series version of The Caretaker, if they hadn't already commissioned the whole thing, I wouldn't see this getting past a pilot, is all I'm saying.